Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you a few troubleshooting tips for issues with the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S5. This has actually happened to me four or five times since I've had this phone. Basically when you go to use or set up the fingerprint scanner, you get a message saying, unable to start, please reboot your phone. Sometimes yeah, rebooting the phone does the trick, so I guess that's the first troubleshooting tip. But most of the time, this is due to a software bug that a simple reboot won't fix. So if you encounter these issues, I've got a handful of options for you. First, we'll head to Settings to check out the easiest remedy. Then from here, you basically just scroll down to the bottom of the list and go to Application Manager. After that, swipe over to All, then look through the list until you find an app called simply Fingerprints. They're in alphabetical order, so it should be easy enough to find, right? There it is. From here, tap Force Stop and press OK, then hit Clear Cache. After that, go ahead and give the fingerprint scanner another try and hopefully you'll already be back up and running. But if not, another option would be to clear the data on this app. If you look around here though, there isn't an option for clearing data, unlike most other apps. But for rooted users, there's always a way. The easiest option for clearing data here would be Titanium Backup. The free version on the Play Store will do the trick, and basically all you have to do is search for the Fingerprints app again. From here, just tap the Wipe Data button, then press Yes on the pop-up. Again though, Titanium Backup is only an option for rooted users. If that still didn't work for you, or if you're not rooted, the options escalate a little bit from here. The next one can be found in the Settings menu again. This time you're looking for an entry called Backup and Reset. And here, the Factory Data Reset option can help with this little bug. Basically, running this will wipe all the data that your phone has accumulated. You can leave the Format SD Card option unticked and hit the Reset Device button at the bottom. But before you do that, make sure you have anything important backed up to your SD card or some other location, because this will of course wipe all of your data. Now if that didn't work, I still have one more option for you. You can use the Odin software on a PC to restore your phone's firmware to factory condition. That's really a last ditch effort, but aside from a hardware defect, it should certainly get your fingerprint scanner up and running again. So if you want more info on that process, you should check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. It's a bit more involved than any of the other options, so I actually have a separate tutorial and video linked out for it. In the end, I hope one of these options got your fingerprint scanner up and running again. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.